Hi, this is Sean from One With Nature, and today we are going to start our audio series on the lymphatic system. If you have already listened to our previous audios, you may be asking yourself, why are we talking about the lymph system? Can't we talk about cool herbs or liver flushing or something? Well, we will be talking about cool herbs in the future. Probably not so much about liver flushing, since that is a topic that's pretty much been done to death in America. But as for the lymph system, why is that so important, you may ask? You're probably thinking, I was born with it, and I'm doing okay so far, so why do I need to learn any more about it? Well, for starters, if your lymphatics decide they want to stop working, you'll be dead in 24 hours. And although this scenario is, of course, unlikely, we hope, there are indeed people who are dying in slow motion due to their lymphatic system not operating like it should be. Let's look at it this way. You can learn to enhance the operation of an essential part of you. You were born with it, so there's nothing to buy. It's already a self-contained biomechanical super system that you carry with you everywhere. There are no parts to wear out, and it is responsible for not only garbage collection, but it's also a vital part of your immune system as well. In addition to critical filtration, and being a critical component to the health of almost every one of your 75 trillion plus cells. The lymphatic system has been called the tree of life by some, the second circulatory system by others, and the lymphatic system is three to four times more extensive than your circulatory system. Now as you know, if you just have a small cut almost anywhere on the body, blood can come out. So imagine a second circulatory system that is three to four times more extensive than that. Three to four times more extensive than the network of arteries, veins, capillaries that you have throughout your body. This second circulatory system is everywhere that you have blood capillaries. And even beyond that, this tree of life goes in between the cells into bone. It filters fluids in our body that our cells are surrounded with constantly. And yes, this second circulatory system will even engage invaders in the body, surrounding them and digesting them, thereby protecting us. Maybe now you're beginning to see why even a basic knowledge of the lymphatic system can be very useful when we are attempting to help ourselves or our fellow man. Now one of the basics to a smooth running lymph system is circulation and constipation. It's hard to get any more basic than those two. They say, you are what you eat. And those five words have made a lot of people a lot of money. And while it's true that what you choose to nourish yourself on, not only physically, but also mentally, emotionally, spiritually, these will all impact you to a great extent but I do prefer another short saying, a little more complicated. Maybe that's why not a lot of people go around saying it, but it's certainly a more accurate statement, and that is, you are what you assimilate, but do not eliminate. Now you can eat the best organic foods, both what's available locally, or you can order the best superfoods from all over the world online. Foods like goji berries, acai, cacao, maca root, shizander berries, mangosteen, noni, bee pollen from Australia, the noble mushrooms. <laughs> but if you do not assimilate these foods, your body cannot get the powerful nutritional benefits in them. That should be obvious. But whatever you choose to feed yourself, the cycle of assimilation and elimination is one that we should give some thought to because it's something that you can control if you know what to do the health of your body is directly affected by a lymphatic system that either has great circulation or on the flip side what we do not want constipation now constipation is one of those words that as soon as you say it people think of only one thing and that's the bowels but you can be constipated in many many ways an organ in the body can be constipated like uh, well, like a liver with occlusions in the bile duct or gallbladder filled with uh, all kinds of junk. You can go online, Google Images, and see what's in there. The energy of your body can be constipated. Now in acupuncture they will free up energy flow so that different areas of the body can benefit from the energy that should be there in the first place, or they can do the reverse. 
they can actually constipate energy flow or stop it. Stop the nerve impulses with needles so that the person does not feel pain. You can be constipated emotionally. Psychiatrists and psychologists have made millions and millions by dealing with people who are, in essence, emotionally constipated. Our body is a garden with borders just like a garden in your backyard. We are a self-contained ecosystem. Or to use another example, would you rather be like a body of water with no circulation, like the Dead Sea, or would you rather be alive and teeming with life, like one of the great oceans with abundant circulation that we find on the planet? The old saying is, as above, so below. In other words, we are a microcosm of the world around us, linked to everything, and the lymph system is a vital part of our body's ecosystem. The lymph system is a purification engine that's already built inside you. You were born with it. You never have to worry about fueling this engine or filling up the tank for a long trip, and you can step on the gas pedal to accelerate its performance anytime you like. You don't have to worry about blowing the engine up because any simple exercises that you're going to do to accelerate the lymphatic system is an exercise you should be doing anyways, but most likely are not due to our modern cube farm society. I believe that the more tools we have in our toolbox of healing, then the better chance we have of helping someone who comes to us for aid or helping ourselves. But we must use our knowledge correctly, for like any tool, we can use it the right way or the wrong way. You wouldn't use a screwdriver to apply a coat of paint to the wall, and you wouldn't use a hammer to screw in a light bulb. If someone says to you, after you've suggested something to them, oh, I tried that. It didn't work for me. And you suggest something else, and they say, look, I've tried everything. Nothing works. Well, they haven't tried everything yet. The answer is out there. And this information is just a, another piece of the jigsaw puzzle. If your favorite modality for helping yourself or others is massage, reiki, acupressure, acupuncture, chiropractic, reflexology, aromatherapy, herbal formulas, or sound therapy with tuning forks, whatever your modality is, once you start using what you're going to learn in this series, either on yourself or others, you're going to start seeing people get better, faster. Once you add this information into the back of your head, it takes away a little bit more of the unknown. Okay, so if just one person takes today's information, decides to practice it, and in turn tells another person, and they review the information and decide to practice the simple exercises and show other people, in a few years' time, thousands of people could be helped. So, the goal is, before you reach the end of this audio series, you will have knowledge and techniques to help those you care about. And it all starts right now. So listen up, because I want to help change your life for the better. What I'm going to cover today is not necessarily brand new at all. In fact, the research dealing with this subject is between... Um, Oh, 28 to 80 years old, but the vast majority of people that I talk to have no clue as to its existence. Now the picture you're looking at is a two-dimensional representation of two very different environments that your cells can exist in. And this diagram was made famous by a man named Dr. C. Samuel West. You've probably heard of him. A lot of today's information comes directly from the research this man did over many, many years of his life. Now on one side of this slide, I won't say which side, but on one side of the slide is the perfect living environment of the cells in your body, one in which disease finds it very difficult to take any root in, one in which the cells operate at the peak of their efficiency. On the other side, we find a cellular environment where loss of energy has occurred. Sickness and chronic disease is just a stone's throw away. Now when I saw this diagram for the first time, I thought I knew which side was the ideal state for the cells and which side was not. And we're going to find out what that is in part two.